Hi, I'm Warren Moyle, Senior Technical Support Engineer, and today we're looking at wiring up the Intelligent Input Output Unit. First step is to connect your loop wiring to the Input Output Unit. Connect your two negative wires to the outer terminals and your two positive wires to the inner terminals. Once you've addressed the units, you will notice a fault light is activated on the input side. You will have to ensure that the LED switch is switched on when commissioning. If you're not using the input, then it will be required to fit a 20k ohm resistor which we supply into the IP negative and IP positive connections of the unit. Once this is connected, you will notice the yellow input fault light extinguish. In this example, we intend to show how to wire the input side of an input output unit. To do this, we're wiring the output of the other I.O. unit into the input of the top I.O. unit. To show this, we connect a 20k ohm resistor to the normally closed output and a 1k ohm resistor to the normally open connection of the relay output. We join the two other ends of the resistors into a terminal block. Then we connect a wire from the other end of the terminal block into the IP positive of our top I.O. unit. Now we take a wire connection from the common to the input negative of our top I.O. unit. This should cause the input fault light to extinguish. For demonstration purposes, the wiring is currently outside of the unit. But best practice would be to wire from behind. So the circuit we now have is a 20k ohm resistor in line with the common of the input and when we send a signal to the bottom I.O. unit to activate we would expect to see the 1k resistor go in circuit and a fire condition be signified by the top I.O. unit. This will be in the form of a red LED. The input output unit should look like this once it's been wired correctly. Just to demonstrate the IP LED Remove the 20k ohm resistor from IP POS and IP NEG and switch on the LED switch. You should see an amber LED lit. To clear this fault, reinsert the 20k endline resistor. The FS switch is for failsafe applications. If it isn't required, leave it at zero. But if you do require a failsafe application, then switch it towards the one. And that's how you wire our intelligent input output unit. Thanks for watching. For more information, check out our other videos or visit our website.